Alright, we got another tier 1 deck premium style. So, uh, this deck has actually changed a little bit. So, yeah. Get ready, internet. Game's back for like three weeks. Um, Kira, it's a starter. You don't want it retired. Hand power is cool. Uh, four copies of Maiden Trailing Rose. On ride, you get two tokens, and on place, you get one. So, uh, really great with Green Katrina. Just, if you're able to ride her, you get to call minimum three cards. So, like, she's really, really good. Next, three copies of Peony Musketeer Martina. On, so, advanced skill is sold last one, retire, rear guard, check top five to call one. That's not why you run it. You run it for its continuous ability. During the turn, it's placed from deck, it gets 5k and a crit, it's searchable off Katrina, if you got force 2 on deck, it becomes an 18k 3 crit unboosted without triggers, which is pretty cool. And it's, uh, because it's called from deck for skill, if you call it off of, uh, Gladiolus, you get 2 rear guards with, uh, free crits, which is dope. Next, we're running 4 copies of Peony Musketeer Sylvia, uh, we're running it because, unlike in Standard, getting the token from the Van effect is actually important, more important than Timber, because you just want as many tokens earlier. Uh, yeah, so this is really cool. Uh, she works great in the deck. Then, three copies of Maiden Gladiolus. When she's boosted, GB1, Counterblast 1. Clone a card. Uh, cloning on Force Markers is cool, and multi-attacking in this deck is nutty. Um, three copies of Lily of the Valley Musketeer Kaivant on place 5k per token, uh, grade zeros. Uh, because it works on place, it works, and, like, the new card from Mysterious Fortune is, like, an act ability or whatever. This actually works with Katrina and Gladiolus, so being able to hit numbers is pretty cool and make the numbers even bigger during the battle phase. Uh, then three copies of Ermin Soul, just because numbers and hand power is always good. And good for grade two gaming. Next big change, running four copies of Cherry Blossom, Blizzard Maiden Lilga, PG, and GB1 Bloom, Counterblast 1, bounce all copies of herself. So you can call like three copies of herself off of Katrina and then just get three free perfect guards, which is really neat. Yeah, it's a really cool card in this deck. And we're running 12 crits again, so might as well have some PGs somewhere. Three copies of Padmini, because Stride Fodder. Three copies of Elf, because it lets you get two tokens, which really helps Katrina. Uh, three Happy Phone, because while it only lets you get one, it lets you get it as auto on place, so it works with Katrina and Gladiolus for big numbers. Then... Uh, triggers, as I said, it's 12 crit, 4 watering elf, because heals, 4 of, uh, happy lucky, because it's the new heart thump GB1 crit or whatever, uh, 4 of this, because it's the best V trigger crit, because this thing's just hysterical, and then just 2 of the other ones, just because it you can. Your opponent. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, G-Zone is completely untouched, so four copies of Katrina because, uh, it's the best goddamn G-Unit Neonectar has. Uh, on place flip something, you call a token, and until end of turn, continuous all tokens get 10k. And, uh, on attack for each token, call anything from deck. Then you have... Uh, two copies of Flip Fodder for Katrina, one copy of Flip Fodder for Katrina, one copy of Flip Fodder for Katrina, uh, one copy of Flip Fodder for Katrina that can sometimes be really funny, uh, one copy of this card, just cause you can, uh, literally none of the G units matter cause of Katrina's existence. Uh, two copies of Antero, because it's a 35k shield if you have the board, 20 if not. Uh, two copies of Rain Breath, because you can call stuff to proc effects. You can call Erminsoul behind Van, and if you have two tokens, your Vanguard becomes an 18k and you get the draw. 
uh, Dismal to protect stuff, and Rainbow Cycle, because this is the only way you can put normal units back in the deck. Uh, yeah, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe.